After my video yesterday on Manus, it definitely caught a lot of people's attention and there seems to be a lot of hype around it. My X timeline in fact was filled with all sorts of creations as well as content related to Manus. But there's one big problem. Manus is only accessible through a waitlist. It's not open source, which is something that frustrates a lot of people as people can't access it freely. So today, I'm showcasing an open source alternative to this called Open Manus, and this was found thanks to my Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And I also definitely recommend that you watch my previous video on Manus so you get a better idea of what it is. But in short, Manus is a general AI agent that connects thoughts and actions, and it outperforms OpenAI's deep research in terms of performance. To showcase the capabilities, this was a prompt that was sent into Manus where it was able to create this dashboard of the NVIDIA stock. And this dashboard was something that fetched you up-to-date data on the stock itself tracking its price variations over different time frames, as well as assessing risk factors. Now, all of this was done through the agent of Manus that was deployed to fully code out all the functionalities of the dashboard. It created the app itself, and it made sure that it was actually functional by making sure that it was debugged and refined for a proper use case. And we'll take a look at this once it has been fully generated. So there we go, we now have the app fully generated and this is essentially the dashboard that was built and this was all thanks to the help of the Manus AI agents. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And thankfully to these amazing contributors, we now have an open source version of Manus, which is practically the same thing, but it doesn't actually have a UI which is the only downside. And to mimic Manus's AI agent's capabilities, they have developed Open Manus RL. And this is essentially to improve large language model agent reasoning using reinforcement learning. And they essentially wanted to create this so that they can push the limits of their AI agents deployed within Open Manus. Here is an example of Open Manus Live in action. This is where it's running a thorough SEO audit where it's gonna be able to focus on the optimization strategies of SEO, which is search optimization. And it's gonna work on creating in a report that can improve the SEO of this website or this blog post. It's working on scraping the contents of it, and it's gonna be able to provide you a full on report within a couple of seconds based off of the AI agents deployed on this website. And now the AI agent has finished and develop the AI report and you will be able to see this SEO audit based off of that blog post that was able to create an executive summary, the technical SEO analysis, and it focuses on a couple of recommendations. All of this was done with the help of Manus AI's open agent. So let's get started and showcase how you can install this locally. There's two methods to install this. You have the first method to use Conda or you can either use UV, which is recommended. This is a Python package where you can create the virtual environment with the help of Python. But we're going to follow through with the first method. In this case, you're going to need to make sure that you have Conda installed. You need to make sure that you have Python, Git, VS Code, as well as the pip install command. So once you have the prerequisites fulfilled, we can then move forward and start off by creating the new Conda environment. So go ahead and open up your command prompt. And once you have it open up, you can then send in the Conda create. Uh, command which will create the virtual environment for us then we can go ahead and paste in the conda activate open manus command to activate the environment and once that is done we can go off and clone the repository by copying this command and pasting it in once you have cloned this repo you can go into the open manus folder you can then install the dependencies with the pip install command and once you have installed all the requirements you're going to need to then configure the api keys to do so open up vs code and open up the open manus folder once that is done you're going to need to configure this config file which you can access within this folder over here 
and you want to go over and you want to change in the llm configurations as well as the vision configurations which is optional and only for a specific lm uh, models so if you want to use vision capabilities you would want to use something like claude or even gemini 2.0 flash but say if you do not have any sort of api key or you don't want to actually spend on any of these models you can use something like grok or hyperbolic which lets you access different models completely for free and obviously there's a couple of rate limits but you can use most of these models to do a lot of different tasks for your first couple of deployments after you have made the changes make sure you rename this by taking out the dot example and you should be good to go all you need to do now is just simply go over to file and click save and you can start accessing this off of your command prompt or through the terminal within vs code after you have set all your keys you can simply start this up with the python main.py command where you can go back into your terminal and paste this in and you can start interacting with open manis so let's start and have it work on this task of creating a weather app with live animations that dynamically change based off the current weather conditions now i'm going to go ahead and send in this prompt and have it execute this task it's going to go ahead and take 30 different steps to execute this so once it's finished doing this i'll be right back so what's cool is that it's working in real time to develop this weather app so it's working on showcasing what's happening live in action while you can see everything within the terminal in terms of all the edits being made and there we go we have our new weather app that will showcase the live animations dynamically based off the location obviously it's not linked to an api that will accurately showcase the actual weather but i'll just type in something random and it will be able to depict what's happening in that place but if we just keep going through all the different animations we'll see that there's one for thunderstorm or if we type in something else we will get like moderate rain so this was just a simple little thing that it was able to develop based off of that one single prompt that i sent in i've seen some pretty cool things being accomplished with open manis where it can create csv files and execute your commands off of it but one thing i've noticed is that it's pretty slow in comparison to manis which is one of the downsides of this obviously they're going to keep on improving it over time but this is just one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're working with this. It's not refined as Manis and it's not something that will get you the best results right away. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis. Plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. And remember guys this is fairly new so it's going to be refined more over time as there's more contributors working on this i'll keep you guys posted on twitter if anything new happens but huge props to the meta gpt team for developing this prototype of something that's a great open source alternative to manis this is something that i would definitely recommend that you try out if you are still behind a wait list uh, for accessing Manus, it's a great alternative and it'll get the job done in terms of getting the basic outputs that you would get from open or from ori the original Manus. But with that thought, guys, I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you follow me and subscribe to the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous content because there's a lot of videos that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.